Hello and welcome to episode 50 of the Low Back Pain Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Grant Elliott with Rehab Fix Online Low Back Program. I can't believe uh, it is episode 50. Crazy. Today's topic is genetics and low back pain. Does low back pain run in your family? We're going to dive into that today. Episode 49 was all about lifting belts. If you have low back pain, should you or should you not wear a lifting belt? What does a deadlifting belt or a squatting belt or any weightlifting belt really do? And how should you use it? Go listen to episode 49 if you would like to find out. But today's topic is all about does low back pain run in your family? Is it in your genetics? Are you being fed this BS? I'm sorry, just being real here. I am so exhausted about hearing people telling me that they were told their low back pain is from their genetics or runs in their family and that there's nothing they can do about it and they need extensive testing to try to figure out what kind of genetic thing it might be. It's just nonsense. Imagine if someone started uh, telling people that they have genetic foot pain, genetic elbow pain, Oh, I get headaches. You have genetic headaches. Oh, I stub my elbow a lot. You know, oh, you just have genetic elbow stubbing predisposition. What? Like, (laughs) it's just, it makes no sense. It makes absolutely no sense. It drives me insane. Telling someone that they just, you just have a little back pain just in your genetics is a complete joke. And often it's told to people by a provider who doesn't know what else to say, who doesn't know what the problem is, who doesn't know the next step. And instead of providing an encouraging message of, hey, you know what? Well, I might not be the best provider for you on this. So I'm going to you know, encourage you to seek additional help or refer you to someone else who does. They decide to hold their pride close to their chest and sentence that individual to, well, the reason I can't help you is because It's impossible to help you because it's your genetics and you are doomed with back pain for life because it's your genetics. So too bad, so sad. It's, it's such a shame. And if you are being told that your low back pain is because of your genetics, you need to run and you need to talk to somebody else right now because you do not want to fall into that trap. Okay, do it, please. So why might someone be told that their low back pain is due to genetics? Well, I kind of just explained it just then. Someone who has no idea what they're talking about (laughs) might tell you that. But also, there is one example that could be somewhat legitimate. Some of you might have heard of the condition, it's a soft tissue disorder called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome also known as hypermobility syndrome. So in this unique example, these individuals are prone to more joint-related pain in more low back or spine in general related pain because their ligaments tend to be very lax and they're very, very flexible, too flexible. We want flexibility, but not too much. Not too much. So this is a soft tissue disorder. Now, this could be a specific reason in someone's genetics why they might be experiencing low back pain. But you have to understand that's a very unique scenario. And it's not like majority of the 80% of the entire population of the world has something like that, which is causing them low back pain. And even people with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, I'm never going to tell someone, you know, you are your diagnosis. Even people with that, it doesn't mean that they're going to have low back pain for life. It doesn't mean they're automatically going to get it. There's still ways to improve that, even given that condition. So even still, there's ways to work around it. But the point that I'm making here is that 90% of people out there with low back pain, it's deemed non-specific low back pain. Meaning you can't blame one specific cause for it. It's typically a combination of of a multitude of variables. In regards to the body itself, it usually can be deemed a combination of muscle pain, joint pain, and disc pain. It's usually a combination of those things, but one cannot blame one single factor, especially genetics. So I know it's a silly analogy 
but I really do want you to repeat that in your head. Imagine if you sprained your ankle and someone said, you have genetic ankle pain. That's insane. No one's ever been told that. So why are people being told that they have genetic back pain? It's very silly. I want to give you a story. I have a new client, relative and new client, just about nine days in my program. She's from Texas. No, she's not from Texas. She's from California. I'm thinking of someone else. This individual is from California. She has been through the ringer with medical procedures and medical advice, seeing everyone under the sun. She has spent $200,000 of her own money over the last 15 years trying to resolve her lower back pain. Okay, She's currently in my program. She's nine days in. And during our consultation, we were talking about everything. And she said one of the things that she was told was that it's her genetics. That's the reason for her back pain. And they need, they need to do extensive genetic testing to try to figure out what the genetic defect might be that could be causing this unrelenting low back pain sciatica. They not only did genetic testing on her, but her entire immediate family as well. They dragged in her entire immediate family, did genetic testing on all of them to try to find, you know, is it, maybe they could find it in, in, in a relative and maybe that could pinpoint what's going on. That could give them more information and this and that. It led them nowhere. Insane. I, I don't want to think about the kind of costs associated with that. But the fact that that was even considered in the first place is just like, it just shows how far off the the mainstream system is on low back problems they're so far off it's it's terrible so the reason why this is such a problem and why i would want this to be very clear to you i never ever want you to accept someone telling you that your genetics are causing you pain it's insane the reason it's such a problem is because it removes people's hope it wastes their time it wastes tons of money and it is reducing their quality of life for potentially the rest of their life. That's how strong it can be when someone is told that their low back pain is genetic. It is awful advice. It is awful information and it can ruin someone's life. So I'm tired of providers out there who are not able to figure something out instead of Swallowing their pride saying, you know what? I'm not the provider for you. They're telling people, oh, it's your genetics. That's why, that's why I failed. That's why I wasn't able to help because it's your, it's your genetics. What a mm, fill in the blank. What a bad provider. What a bad friend. It, it's such a shame. And we need to be encouraging people. We need to be giving them alternatives We need to be giving them solutions. And if I'm not the one that can figure out the solution, guess what? I'm not going to give them some negative feedback, poor story. I'm going to tell them, hey, you know what? I'm not the right guy for you. I don't know what's going on. I wasn't able to figure it out. That doesn't mean you're not going to be able to find an answer though. Maybe go contact this person, that person, this person, that person. Go try something new. Because obviously what we're doing isn't working. Let's swallow my dang pride and encourage them to go try something else. I would never, ever, ever tell someone that their pain is genetic some of the worst professional advice that anyone could ever be given. And it truly is making a significant negative impact on the world. So there's not much more detail than that that I can provide. Genetic low back pain for the majority is not supported by the evidence. It is terrible advice. No provider should be saying that. They are. They should not be allowed to say anyone who has low back pain. (laughs) That should be like a rule that the government puts on them. You are not allowed to talk to anybody with low back pain. It is (laughs) tragic. So once and for all, low back pain is not genetic. I want you to repeat that funny phrase again. Oh, your ankles, you have ankle pain. It's in your genetics. You have wrist pain. It's in your genetics. It's a joke, right? So is telling someone that their low back pain is genetic. That is equally a joke and we're going to stop that from happening and we're going to equip you guys with the knowledge so that if this is told to you you immediately know to run and go find a different provider shoot me a message let me help you let me help you or find someone else who's evidence-based who's here to encourage you and give you a plan give you a solution 
and help you learn how to fix yourself so that you don't have to rely on the system. You don't have to rely on a doctor. You don't have to rely on whoever. You need to be in the driver's seat. You need to be in control. That is where the solution lies. If you're not being shown how to fix yourself, if you're not being required to put in the work, then whatever you're doing is not going to work. And that's just the way it works. So (laughs) putting this down... We are done with the genetic conversation. I hope you enjoyed episode 50. And if you or someone you know is struggling with low back pain and is having a hard time finding help, shoot me a message. Shoot me an email. Submit an application on my website so that I can learn more about your situation and how I can help. I would be honored to meet you and go over your situation just like I am with that client from California who, by the way, Their forward flexion is already improved by about 30 degrees with less sciatica in their leg going forward. Already getting results. That's what it's all about. Getting people back to their lives and doing the things that they love. That is what I love to do. That is what I live to do. And I would love for that to be you. So if you enjoy this podcast, episode 50, booyah, please leave a five-star rating and review on Apple. If you're watching on YouTube, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with a friend. Move more, move in nature, move in the sun. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.